Welcome back to Freshness Now channel. Today's video, we are going to know about the registration process of Infosys InfiTQ for 2023 batch. So if you want to know the details on your own, you can check the link which is provided in the description box. You can land Freshness Now website so that you would get all of the information plus the links to directly start applying or start your registration process. And for regular job updates, you can consider joining us in Telegram channel which is Freshness Now. Link will be placed in the description description box for you to join us directly. Before we get into the registration part, we would know and understand what is this actual thing about. You would know the outline and what is the eligibility criteria for all of this. Now the name of the company or the organization is Infosys and this is InfiTQ certification program. So this certification program is nothing but an assessment or considered to be an assessment tool. So if you are willing to take this up, you can read through this all of the details in Freshness Now website so you can get an understanding about the whole program. Now the designation is Systems Engineer, Specialist Programmer, Digital Specialist Engineer. The dates are for Java Python available slots which is from 6th to 9th of February 2022. So note down the slots and then as the availability of the slots are available you can start your registration process. And the year of passing for the fresher candidates is considered to be in 2023. And the qualification required is BTEC, MTEC, BE, ME, MSc, MCA or MCM. And this categorization is under IT jobs and the mode of examination conducted is only through online under remote basis and the salary is going to be according to the IT standards applicable all over India. So if you want to know more about this, you can directly visit infosys.com which is their official website and get all of the details at one place. Now we will see this certification program is considered to be a platform for the aspirants who have the qualifications which I've just mentioned and this uh, organization has launched only for passed out candidates but also encourages the students who are in their final year now and this is going to be an off-campus drive for all the candidates for the students who are passing from 2023. This certification program is going to be on a test which is knowledgeable basing on programming and databases. To understand more, you have to first uh, get into the sections of understanding the dates and when and where you have to start applying to. The registration starts on 26th of November 2021 and registration ends. So this is yet to be announced. So you can start applying as it has already begun and the exam date is going to be 6th to 9th February of 2022. So these are the slots which are available. So you might not miss them. So slot timings are going to be 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. So what is the eligibility criteria is given here. Students of BTEC, MTEC, BE, uh, ME, MSc, which are the disciplines which I have mentioned, who have graduated in 2023 are considered to be eligible for applying for this InfiTQ certification program for 2022 and 2023. Candidates who have scored 65 percentage or above will be applicable or can become this Infosys software programmer. Infosys will only calculate uh, InfiTQ 2022 or 2023 certification uh, program score, not the marks which you have obtained in your college. Next, candidates who have secured more than 65 percentage or above in InfiTQ uh, certification program will be called on the spot for the job interview. So these are the criteria or the parameters which are considered to be under the eligibility section. Next, you have to know about how is this exam being conducted. If you score well in your examination in this uh, InfiTQ uh, program, then you can also apply for InfiTQ advanced or the upgrade test as well. This certification exam is conducted through online at home itself and there will be no negative marking in this certification round. So if you are willing to apply, you can just directly start applying. Then instructions or the general details given to the freshers. Immediately after you start the assessment, the screen will go into the full screen display mode and the timer will be at the top of the screen for you uh, to consider yourself in regarding 
to completion of the assessment. Candidates can attempt the questions in any sequence, but make sure to save your code before you switch out. Then, for the hands-on competent, please uh, code your solution uh, in the code pane, and then for the below questions which are given you go into according to that sequence this mcq component will have 20 questions and the solution for the questions is going to be objective subsequently make sure that you are submitting before you proceed to the next final marks will be displayed after you finish the test or when the time is over then please click on finish the test when you have completed it and don't just leave it because that will not be taken into consideration. Assessment can be taken once again after you click on finish the test button. You have three attempts which is given the allotment from uh, InfiTQ certification program assessment. Syllabus is as follows. Database python object oriented development process waterfall based development algorithms and data structures requirement engineering and then quality assurance so this is considered to be the syllabus for this assessment if you are willing to take a note of it just head over to freshesna website and get all the information at one place the exam pattern is as follows you will have three sections you have to answer section one is going to be java python hands-on coding section two is going to be on mcq for java or python section three is going to be dms mcq you will have two questions in section one 10 in each in section 2 and section 3. Uh, two questions, question may come from various concepts, make sure you are assigned properly. Then MCQ objectives time duration is going to be for 3 hours and there is a negative marking in the online test. Next, uh, if you want to register yourself, it is first come first serve basis and to book a slot, make sure you first download the app and then you have to first register yourself using your name, email and your password and then Verification email uh, will be sent uh, to your email. So check your email and then click on the button agree to the terms and condition and register successfully. Once you register yourself, you would be receiving your call letter or admit card uh, to check out your venue or the details for the test. And please check your email time to time for any of the updates or any of the confirmations which are going to get in. So if you want to register yourself, Precious Now website is going to be providing you the direct links to start your application or registration process. So in this important link section, as you can see, you can start registering yourself for this Infosys program. So once if you click here, you will be then redirected to this particular page. You have to give your first name, last name, your email, password, and you have to confirm your password, and then you have to register. If you already have your account in Infosys, you can just click on login. It will be redirecting you to this page, and then you can have to sign in. Then you will be confirming your further registration process. If you have any questions for us, please place them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.